Hello there. We're at RC Madness today. I'm checking out this new Xero Explorer. I'm going to show you how to set it up and then we're going to go out and fly it today. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure your flight battery is not only put in but put in correctly which is this is very simple. Nice. Slides right in. Line it up. You push it in. You lock the button right there, down, whoo, nice. Very insulation on the gimbal, very easy. What you're gonna do is just pull this little tab, flip it up, there's your camera. As simple as that. Very nice. I'm gonna slide it back to where it goes, hold this back. And she is now that, I guess. She usually locks in pretty good. Just take your finger. She's good. Now, before we do anything, we're going to take off the lens cover. This here is a gimbal protector. What it does is, in travel, if you'll notice, it doesn't allow it to move. Before turning it on, it needs to stabilize itself, center itself, so this cannot be on while doing that. We're just going to take it and just slide it right off. Hold that, slide that, pop right off. Nice. Now she's free. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are A. Turn. Oh. Two. We're going to turn the quadcopter on. We're going to hold the button down for three seconds. <laughs> While she is Trying to gain GPS, we are going to go to the visual part of it and lock into the Wi-Fi. We're going to go to the settings. We'll see we're at RC Madness here and we want the Explorer. So we're going to hit that. It won't take but a few seconds. As soon as it checks off, we're going to hop out of there and we're going to go to the Explorer app. <laughs> When we turn that on the Explorer app and we connect to the Wi-Fi, the camera's on, you're going to notice a few things about this. It has a lot of stuff on this Explorer app. First of all, to the left here, if you'll notice, you have your Wi-Fi signal. Very green, a lot of Wi-Fi. Your next is your satellite. Obviously, it's red. If you'll notice down on the controller, you can't see it, but the controller also says we have no GPS, so it's telling you you have no GPS. Going through here, that is your quadcopter battery. If you'll notice that, there's a little quadcopter behind the little battery, so you can't really mess that up. This is your speed. If you'll notice, there's a little whoop, speedometer gauge. It makes it very easy. And then this last one here, which will tell you how far this is from that. Off the ground and away from you. So, we're going to go to the last one, which is this positive here, which is going to explain all of these again. Those are your altitude, your speed, your distance, your Wi-Fi signal, all of that. It's nice to know that you what you have for battery life in here and also in the quadcopter itself. So now we're going to go through a couple neat functions that the Explorer has. First, we're going to, when we go, when we turn on the Explorer app and we're ready to film or shoot, it's always standard going to be in picture mode to get it into the um, video mode, all we're going to do is press this button right there and you'll notice that the red light now comes on and we can press the record button which will now start to record. See? We're going to shut it off and we'll go through some other features. Now, this has a, a lot of really nice features. If you'll scroll this little scroll right here. Ooh. We have what's called shoot mode. Shoot mode is your standard video. You're just going to shoot, snap, whatever you're going to do. Now next what we have is called follow me mode. You're able to actually put this on and actually this this quadcopter will follow this radio all day long. It doesn't matter how, how fast you run, how far you run, it's going to follow you. Next we're going to go to follow snap. Follow snap is a very unique kind of app where if you were to take like my finger drag your finger on this app, 
make a square around my finger, it will follow my finger. Did you see that? Okay, we're going to get off the recording. We're going to take that off. Now, in this app, this app will follow you only. When you are in the Follow Me app, or the app here, you will see that you not only have a Follow Me app, but you also have a circular app. Well, it actually will just keep going around you as you go. And you're able to change the, in this app, you're actually able to change the actual camera angle from up, down, to left, and right. So you can actually get it right in there. So, all right, now we're going to talk about endpoints. So bring up the endpoints if you wanted to travel from here to that endpoint to fly over there and then come back. It's very simple. All you're going to do is put yourself in the air. You know, you know if you're out in a field, probably you know, 30 feet. If you're around trees, you might want to get above them. But we're going to go on this here. We're going to bring up that. Now here we are at North Street. Very simple. We're going to touch this right here, and that's going to bring up the app for waypoints. Now waypoint, we're going to hit this here. That's going to ask me, and I'm going to lay down a waypoint right there. Oops, I already had it on. Touch it. Now it's going to fly from there to there. Then it's going to fly from there to there. Then it's going to fly to there, and then come back. So, waypoint set successful. You're going to hit that button, and it's going to fly. And it will come right back to number one when it's done with number four. So now we're going to close out the app, which is if you had to say I didn't want to um, go there that route, I can just touch it again and hit delete waypoint and that will be gone. If for some reason you I had to take them all off, you just keep doing it and it will just keep deleting them. Now we'll just pop out of here. We're going to go back to the camera settings and there you have it. Very, very simple. Very easy to use. Very easy to use. <laughs> you have only three buttons here. Um, this is your return to home button. At any time you get scared, anytime something happens, you hit that button, it's coming right back. This is an auto takeoff button. When you hit this button, it will take off three feet and levitate there. You will then hit it again and fly away. At any time you come back and you get close to the ground, you hit that button again, it will drop to the ground, land safely, you hit it again, and it will shut off. <laughs> IOC. Intelligent Orientation Control. Very important. It doesn't matter where you are in the sky. If you hit this button and you pull back that stick, this quadcopter will come back toward you, no matter what direction you are facing. So, some pretty cool gimbal attachments is to be able to uh, scroll this up and down with a touch of just using your thumb, very nice and such. Also, when you go to yaw it, left and right, it will actually move with you beforehand. So with that said, I mean, there's a beautiful day out there. Let's go fly this thing. Today, and we're going to take this Xero Explorer for a flight. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to show you how to turn it on. I've already calibrated it. We've already put the blaze on it. We're just going to take it for a nice, easy flight, and I'm going to show you how the controls work. And we're going to go from there. We've already taken the gimbal uh, stabilization off, and we're going to go ahead and start turning things on. First, we're going to turn the controller on. Well, number one. Two. You want to hold down that triangular button there for three seconds until it comes up. Now we're going to go into the Wi-Fi. And we're going to actually... hook up to the Explorer on my Wi-Fi. You'll see she's just grabbed it. We're going to go back, out. We're going to grab the Explorer app. And there she is. So you're able to toggle back between the map and your view. You have a lot of different functions. It tells you everything that you need to know, how much battery you have in there, how much battery you have in here, how fast you're going across the sky, how high you are, how far you are away from you. 
in all your different modes. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take it for a flight. <laughs> Again, your IOC, Intelligent Orientation Control, doesn't matter which way you are, it's going to come back. And auto takeoff, auto land, and easy return to home. So, we are in number one flight mode, which is all GPS. We're going to fly very, very stable, very easy. It's going to have phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Okay, so let's, uh, let's put this puppy up. All right, so we're going to back up. And uh, to fire this up at any time, to shut the blades off, you can hit this. So we'll show you right now. I'm going to fire the blades up. And at any time while it's on the ground, you can hit the stop button. So we're going to fire the blades up. You'll notice that the yaw button also, also, uh, also allows me to turn the camera while in the air or on the ground. Hold the throttle, and we're up. have green lights that means you have good GPS lock. The red is the front. Always the front. You always want to make sure you have good vision. That's why they put them in the front. Day or night you're going to see that thing in the sky. Watch how easy it's in the land. Okay, nice down. Are you in some place? Right about there. That's a good spot right there. Now I can I can land it myself, or I believe I can hit this button right here, and it will automatically land. And when it's done landing, it will shut off. I'm automatically gonna take that and hit it again so that I can fly it again, no problem.